Hello, 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 my beautiful and my lovely people. How are you all doing today? Yes, I know you're good. I know you're good because if God be for you and I will be against us, nobody, we are coming out strong daily to the glory of the Lord. My older, my new subscribers, you are welcome. If today is your first time of seeing me, my name is Divine. You are welcome. God bless you all richly in the name of Jesus. May this cause His face to shine upon you and your household in the name of Jesus. You being here is not a mistake, it's a divine connection. I have a word for somebody today. God bless you. It's about your husband. It's about your husband. Just be calm. Those things that is giving you stress is not worth it. Even God is not seeing those things that is giving you stress at all. You know that that man you say I do to is not a church person before you get married to him. Why letting that bring problem to the home now? Let your character, let your prayer win him to Christ and not your nagging. Because even your nagging, your behavior towards people, towards others, the way you talk down on people, the way you, you do to people, the way you relate to your, your people around you, is making your husband not to believe the kind of God you serve. Your husband is not a church person, not that he believes in other things. He believes that there is God. He don't pray with you and your family. He don't pray with you. He, you always pray alone with the children. But now you are angry. You feel that is you are making that to be a problem in the home. Because of that, you are not giving the man peace. The word of God says, everything we do is not the way you seems you want to do it with your spirit that it will make it work. He said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We are not fighting the physical. Everything you have to win the man to. If you want to win your husband to God, what you have to do is to keep on praying for him. Is to keep on uh, uh, um, uh, uh, praying when he's eating. Pray when, when when you want to sleep or when you are praying with your children. Pray for daddy for God to speak to him. As as you are doing that. God is going to speak to him. Your character is going to bring him to know the God you serve, that the God you serve is a lovely God, is a peaceful God, is a kind God. Divorce is not the case. You being ashamed because your husband is not participating in the ways people participate in, in church, your husband is not in the prayer warrior, your husband is not that, you are giving yourself unnecessary headache. Respect that man. Respect him. He loves you. He cherishes you. He do a lot of things for you. So don't because of the physical aspect of what he's not doing. Don't because of that and hate him. You can surprise your husband is closer to God even more than you because the way he do the things that God says we should do, but he's not he's not act, active the way you want him to pray. He's not active the way you want him to, to, to behave in church. Don't feel because of that he's not spiritual. Just let your character pray. Pray to God. Say, God, this is my husband. I know you will arrest him for good. If this you have, I wish you had not say I do. I could have said no, no need of going there. But this you have children with your husband, you 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 married to your husband, legally married. You have to work it out by prayer. You have to work it out by prayer. It's not he that running, or it's not he that it's not he that running. It's God that showed mercy. Tell God to show mercy. Tell God to show mercy. God is going to show mercy. Because it's your head you have to respect. It's your head you have to submit. It's your head you have to love him. You are getting unnecessary pressure on yourself because that is not supposed to give you pressure. Okay, God bless you. I pray may God speak to your husband's heart. I pray as from today, may, may your husband see the reason to kneel down with both of you and the children to give God the glory. Always let your husband be proud of you. Your character, the way you discuss other people, the way you just hate people, change from it. And when your husband sees that you're good, he sees that your character represents the light, you will see him coming. God says, if they don't believe in you, the work I will do through you, they will believe. It's not the work of uh, uh, just miracle, no. The work of love, the work of kindness, the work of kind talk. The work of your husband is not praying with you. But in the morning, you still wake up and prepare food for him. And call him your lovely husband, your lord, your all. You see your humbleness. You see everything. Definitely, it's going to serve the God you serve. May God bless you. Don't divorce and don't let anybody deceive you. That man is good to you. But just what you want is for him to be doing 
those prayer with you is for him to be doing those things you want him to do to you as the head of the whole is not by the physical pray god bless you shalom before we meet again keep on rejoicing your husband love you bye